This is a walkthrough of the Team Services extension for Visual Studio Code. I have the extension installed and configured, but it's not yet active until I open either Visual Studio Team Services or Team Foundation Server, Git, or TFVC repository. So here's the extension is installed, and I'll go ahead and open a Git repository, my Deep Space folder, and that'll become active. If you haven't set up the extension yet and logged in with your credentials, check out the Set Up the Team Services extension for Visual Studio Code video also on our channel on YouTube. Okay, so I've opened my Deep Space repository here, and when you I do that, you can see that this the status bar becomes active with some information down here. So this is the name of my team project, and if I click that, that'll open a web page and it'll take me to my team project's home page. So there's Deep Space there. That's showing me my pull requests. I've got two active pull requests. It'll show me the status of the latest build. And it'll show me that I've got nine work items um, assigned to me at this point. Okay, so if I go ahead and click on the pull requests, that'll open the quick pick drop down and it'll show me these two pull requests that are currently assigned to me. And I can go ahead and if I choose one of these, it'll take me out to the web where I can go ahead and look at the pull request that I have assigned. And right now I can go ahead and interact with those pull requests right there in my web browser. So the build summary, that'll take me to a build summary. And similarly to pull requests with work items, if I click on those, I'll get a quick pick drop down that'll show me all the work items that are assigned to me. And again, if I, I choose one of these, it'll go ahead and it'll open that particular work item so I can get straight to it. Okay, so there's other commands that are provided by the extension as well. And in order to see those, you go ahead and hit F1, just like you would in Visual Studio Code, and go ahead and type team. So with the team prefix, you can see here that there are work items. Um, there's, there are commands here. One's associate work items, which allows me to associate a work item um, that's assigned to me with my particular um, commit or change set. A list of creation commands here will allow me to create bugs, pull requests, a particular task uh, of a particular um, type and work items also of a particular type. You can send feedback on the extension, sign in and sign out to the extension, as well as uh, view blame information. Here's the build summary, history, pull requests, etc. just like all the other ones here. So if I go ahead and I say I open up one of the source files here, see if I can find a source file down here in my Java code. I'm getting some recommendations for Visual Studio Code. I go over here and I see that I need to uh, uncomment this code so that Earth appears. If I highlight that line and I say team create a bug, I go ahead and I do that, it'll open the web browser and because I've had a line of code highlighted, that line of code becomes the title of that particular bug. It's already got the a bug assigned to me, and I can go ahead and, and change any aspect of this bug that I want, because it's all the way it's here in edit mode, and you get the full power of the the web experience here to to save. And once you saved it, you can reassign it, or you can move it to different um, areas of your team project. So that's kind of how you can create uh, a bugs from highlighting text in a particular source file. You can also create uh, different types of work items. So if I go ahead and I choose that, my team project is set up to, to show uh, these seven types of work items. So I can create an epic feature, issue, user story, test case, whichever, um, the same way. If I don't have anything highlighted at this point in my source files, it'll just create an empty user story if I, if I were to choose a user story, for example. Um, so in a Git repository, I have this uh, view blame option. So if I were to do that, whichever file, uh, source file I actually have open in the editor, at this point it was image service.java, I'll take the, go to the web browser and I can see uh, the blame information here is rendered um, by team services. So I can see who's changed which lines or which uh, line or lines of code here, who it was, what the commit was, and when they actually did that. Go ahead and close that see what other commands we've got here. View build summary, and that runs the same command as it does when you come off the status bar. View history, show you the history of the files, pull requests, the same as clicking on the status bar item down there. The view website is the same as the status bar down there for the team website. And they have work, work item queries and work items. So if I choose work item queries, 
what that command will do is go out to the team project and see which queries are actually in uh, that I've set up and I've got two here. I've got one called all closed items and all my active items. So if I wanted to see all my active items I can go ahead and choose that one and I can see that this one is an active item that's assigned to me and as you probably guessed if I click that one it's going to go ahead and it's going to open the web browser and put me into the, the work item tracking experience here in team services. So if I were to make some code changes, let's just make this code change here and save that. Over here on the git viewlet, you'd be able to view the changes like you would expect. Now if I were to do associate work items and I click that, here's all the, the work items that were assigned to me. Um, just like I'd mentioned before. So now if I click that guy, what we'll do is we'll add a comment to the um, commit message here that will basically um, and once the commit is pushed or the TFVC ch um, check-in is made will associate the work item with that check-in or that commit. Um, you can go ahead and change this if you want but as long as the the pound five which is the, the work item number is there we'll go ahead and make that association and you can add more com more information before as well as after the commit before you go ahead and push it. So that's the uh, associate work items command. So the last command I want to show is send feedback. So if you want to send feedback about the extension, you can choose to either send a smile or a frown. So go ahead and send a smile and say, extension is great. I hit enter. And if we you provide your email address um, and you have an issue, if you sent a frown and you supplied your email address, we'll do our best to get back to you and see if there's anything that we can do to help make the extension uh, better for you. So that's pretty much all the commands that are available in the extension. Um, the, the commands that the extension does provide that aren't get, get specific will also work just as well with the TFVC repository. But if you are using the TFVC repository, you can see our TFVC source code control for Visual Studio Code video here also on YouTube. So that's a quick walkthrough of the Team Services extension for Visual Studio Code.